nowadays uh, we just uh, launch some uh, sk sky uh, rocketing um, uh, projects. Uh, well, for the uh, for the North, Northern uh, Caucasus uh, development and investors uh, really uh, note that the Russian government uh, guarantees the security of investments and the investors and industries from other countries to a large extent uh, get prepared to contribute onto that region. And also the partnership, uh, the public-private partnership uh, becomes essential in here. Of course, the government assumes some obligations as to the infrastructure uh, advancement, but the, at the same time, uh, they need to mobilize the private sector and uh, both uh, from the uh, foreign-based and Russian-based entrepreneurial uh, circles. And that is a wonderful model for uh, developing the economic uh, model of, of uh, cooperation between our countries. Uh, but uh, I am absolutely sure, 100%, that uh, we may uh, safeguard and uh, um, the, the, those um, investments uh, to come. Don't copy other good uh, success stories. Let me start by saying that um, I'm convinced the North Caucasus is a region with tremendous potential and incredible investment opportunities. If executed well, they will not only provide a generous return on investments, but will also serve as an engine of change, transforming the lives and futures of whole communities. But investment in physical infrastructure and economic projects must be supported with deliberately planned investment in social capital. Creating social capital requires a careful strategy, not of assimilation, but of social integration that protects respects and embraces diversity. The major investments in infrastructure and significant capacity building up in the public-private partnership provide an excellent opportunity to introduce such programs across the region. So I think that unlocking the potential of a region such as the North Caucasus is about unlocking the bounty of these unique resources in a sustainable manner.